Welcome back and this is the home stretch and we have a very interesting artist with us in the studio. You know her as Ruby Gyang. But her name is Ngohide mm -hmm. Ruby and Gyang Gyang. Well done. Well done. I have to be tried. <laughs> You really try. I mean, like she says herself, that is a mouthful. Is. <laughs> but she's a Nigerian singer and songwriter, and she's currently signed to Chocolate City. Before the last, uh, during the last segment, you saw her uh, clip from her video. Uh, she was born in Joss Plateau State, where she spent her early years, and her journey to stardom began when she formed Loopy Music along M.I. Ice, Prince, and Jesse. Jags. Welcome, Ruby. Thank you. Good to have you with us. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> that, that video was, I mean, it was so full of life. Yes, yes, it was. You were I, a bank robber. You know what? <laughs> 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 the things we do for love, you know, the whole concept of the video was the length that you would go for to make the person you love happy. And, you know, oh. in the video, the lady had, you know, she, her husband was feeling down for whatever reason and she was trying to make him feel better. She took it maybe a little bit too far, but... <laughs> <laughs> she certainly it's, did. Yes. <laughs> she certainly did. <laughs> now, um, how did you find yourself in music? Um, I'm sure you, you guys have heard this a million times before, but I feel like music chose me because from a very young age, I was just obsessed, you know, with music. I was blessed to have a father that had hundreds of you know, um, vinyl records, and there was a turntable, and he always played music. He liked soul music, and my mom was, you know, she liked gospel music, so that combination. Uh, of course, my musical talent comes from my mom, though, but somehow, so I fell in love with music, and I just... So your dad wasn't a singer, he just listened. He was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and he wanted to sing. Is he watching? No, he's late. Oh, okay. <laughs> we used to have our morning devotions, and he wanted to sing. He was okay. like, oh, poor darling. <laughs> but you oh. couldn't stop him. <laughs> Darling. It was terrible. Well, at least he made an effort. He absolutely <laughs> <laughs> He did. He made a joyful noise. Okay. <laughs> That's all the Lord asked for. Yes. A joyful <laughs> <laughs> you grew up in Joss. I did. Uh, which is where I served. Yeah. God, really? God, God, in, my, in my other life. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. But uh, you are not from Plateau State. No, where I'm you not. From? My dad is from Benue State. Okay. I'm from the Thief tribe of Benue State. My mom is from Kaduna, but her parents were missionaries and they traveled all over Nigeria, but eventually settled in Jos. So that was home. Every time we we're going to spend our holidays, we went there. So um, eventually we moved to Jos, and Jos is like home. Mm. So since you started singing, mm -hmm. um, has it been full? F by, by the way, did you study music? No, I didn't. I studied economics at the University of Jos. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> we're, 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 used, we're used to this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's, it's, you know, okay. I would have studied music, but I. In secondary school, you know how they make you choose. So by the time I'd chosen my subjects, I could not maybe switch to arts. You either had to go one way and I'd gone too far. Science or so, arts. So I would have done theater, but then economics was nice, so I did it. Would your parents have allowed you to study music? Uh, yes, they would have. They would have, actually. They would have. Okay. My mom, my dad. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're not so sure about him. Yeah, I was like... Ugh. <laughs> I will pay for my daughter to go study exactly, music. Exactly, no way. You know, he was a very practical man. He was like, you know, when you're coming out into the real world, you have bills to pay. Mm. You know, I'm not trying to be paying your bills forever, so you need to go study something that, you know, can make you some good money. So I was like, yeah, study economics. You can be a financial analyst. Yeah, you can still be on TV. You know, but that was his angle. No, none of which you have done, right? No, not at all. <laughs> uh -huh. So, uh, has music been fulfilling for you? Absolutely, has been. Um, of course, with the fulfillment, there's, it's, it hasn't been easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> and, but I'm happy every time I get to do what I'm doing today or get to perform on stage or record a song in the studio, I feel very, very happy. And of course, when the paychecks come in too, that's yeah, great, that's okay. nice. <laughs> you write your songs? Yes, I, I mainly co-write, so I like to kind of connect with people, just get different angles. So I have writers come in and we throw back ideas and that kind of stuff, so it makes way better. Okay, so you, you, you were part of the original, my, yes. I my French or my <laughs> Spanish or whatever. Yes. You were part of the original group. Yes. The Loopy mm -hmm. so music. Yes. 
M I ice I cream and, just mm. jazz. Yeah. and you guys are still together. Yeah, I mean, the, the, at the time there was no M I, there was Jude, there was Jesse, there was Panshak. <laughs> 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 yeah, and we okay. just we wanted to sing. We we didn't. Then we set up our own la label in Joss, and we were putting on our shows in the house in the compound, and people would come and watch us perform, and that's how we grew from there. And eventually, did people pay to watch you perform? Yes, they did. They oh, did, you know, okay. Yeah, they did. They would pay like a hundred bucks or something, <laughs> <laughs> and they would watch. Well, that wasn't going to get you too far. Was no, it? at all. So eventually, the move to Lagos was a must. Okay. So yeah. do you still do shows in Lagos? I do all the time. That's, that's not hundred bucks anymore, of course. No, <laughs> that does not do anything. <laughs> so the, the, no. the good money is coming. In. Yeah, it's coming. We want more, but you know, it's a start. I like that smile. <laughs> I like that okay, smile. So in, you, you talked about a family of music. Yes. Um, you have siblings that sing too? I do. I have five siblings. Um, three brothers, three sisters, two brothers. Everybody sings very well. Um, some rap. Um, I'm just the only one that has pursued it full time. Well, the others are doing other things. Yes. You know, my brother is the karaoke king in Abuja. He's there. They know him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my sister <laughs> is, sings in church. He's a worship minister. You know, another one is in a choir somewhere. So, yeah, we all, we're all doing it. <laughs> okay, so nobody took a fair father. No, no, thank God. <laughs> no, you, 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 your genre is mm. soul music. Yes. Why did you choose soul? You know, like I mentioned earlier, my dad, that's what he listened to, and I just fell in love with the sound. And the thing about soul music is vocals are very important, and the voice is my favorite instrument, and... I wanted to be Aretha Franklin. Okay, oh. so. <laughs> okay, a little girl yes. having a little dream. Yes, yeah, so you know, it's allowed. It's allowed. Yeah. Yes. So I just, I just love the fact that it's so expressive, vocally with the message. It's a very strong, powerful message, and the performance is very powerful as well. So, I wanted to do that. Besides music, mm -hmm. what, what are the, what else drives you? Um. The passion to see people be better especially females and do better so for me just any opportunity to encourage you know encourage people is it drives me and that for my music as well there must always be a message it might not always be the do this or don't do that but it's just there's just something i'm trying to whether it's in the the, the soul of the music or in the lyrics i just try and encourage people okay um i think the, the, let's see that video again <laughs> Okay, that's uh, Ruby <laughs> Gang in that video. We'll, be, we'll take a moment and we'll come back. She'll tell us there's a pet project she's working on that has to do with human trafficking. We'll be back shortly. Don't go away. <laughs> 